Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to add your own subtitles to your YouTube videos so that when people click on the CC or closed caption button on your video, you will have the correct wording there. So I've gone to youtube.com and I'm logged into my account. I'm going to go to YouTube Studio over here and um, I'm going to go to videos on the left. Okay, I'm going to choose the video that I want to work on the subtitles for. I will work on this one. I'll click the pencil icon and I'll go to more options. First thing I'll need to do is choose my video language, uh, which will be English United States. I'm going to go ahead and save that just because I'm paranoid. And then I'll go to subtitles here. Now, before I go any more in depth, I just realized I'm going to talk quickly about this upload subtitle CC button here. Um, because you might have thought, well, why are you going to subtitles when the button's right there? But actually, when you click that, it's going to ask you for a certain type of file. And what happens is you can pay for subscription services that will do the transcription for you, provide you with a file that you can download and then upload into YouTube. Um, I don't pay for those things, so I'm going to do this manually. Anyway, so you go to subtitles and um, it has English automatic because um, at some point I went and set my channel language and at the end of this video I'll show you how to do that. But what I'm looking for is this one here, um, the bottom one that is published by Creator. I'm going to click add. Now there are a few different ways you can add your subtitles. You can upload a file which will prompt you again for that same kind of um, professionally transcribed file or you can transcribe an auto sync which is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to click transcribe and auto sync and it gives you the ability to play the video and basically type in whatever it was that you said. There are some shortcuts on the screen that are pretty helpful. Um, I can click play or I can use shift and spacebar to make it play. I can also use shift and left arrow to back the, it up really quickly. Another thing is I can make the it pause the video while I'm typing. I'm a pretty fast typist so that works for me but if you're a little bit slower using the shift and spacebar will help you out. So I'm going to play the video and I'll speed up this next part of my tutorial here so that you don't have to try and watch me type every single little thing. Okay so you get the idea. I believe you can also copy and paste if you had a script you could just put that right into the box and not have to transcribe it. I usually do wind up doing some transcription of mine even if I have a script because when I'm recording I tend to go off script a little bit. Okay now I'm going to click set timings. YouTube is going to analyze the video and sort out the places like where you pause and you're talking and things like that. This does take a little while so I'm going to let it run and I'll come back later. Okay I've given YouTube some time to process the timings on my video. I've come back to my video list and now I will go back to the video I want to work on. Click the pencil, more options, and subtitles. Now when I go to subtitles I can see that it says draft by creator. I'm going to click the three dots and choose edit on Classic Studio. You'll notice the layout is different now. It has timings listed to the sides of my script. Now my job is to go through, listen to the video, and make sure that the words that are appearing as a closed caption or subtitle match what I'm saying at that time. I may have to do some copying and pasting and moving text to different places. Um, I may also need to add in some different breaks just because YouTube's AI is definitely not perfect. It does a pretty good job though. Okay, I'm going to work on that a little bit now. I will say that this is going really well so far. The only thing I don't like is that this um, subtitle does take up quite a bit of space on the screen. So if I had time, I would go through and break that up so that only one line of text appears on the screen at a time. Let me keep on listening and make sure everything still sounds good. Yeah, this is looking really good. I'm very impressed with how YouTube did on this one. Um, but if I needed to, I can come to these boxes, cut, 
paste, retype, move things around as needed. If I wanted to remove a box entirely, I could click the X. If I need to add subtitles, I can click the plus. So that just by typing in what I was saying, um, just did it awesome for me this time. I'm going to go ahead and click publish. It says subtitles published, they're in English. If I needed to add more for some reason, I could. So I've now come to view my video. Anybody who clicks on the CC button will now be able to see perfect captions or subtitles as needed. And I have to admit, it is a lot of work, but you only have to do it once. And it's absolutely worth it to reach those learners who may otherwise not be able to access your content. Now, just a note that YouTube is constantly changing its layout around. So if you've watched this video and you're not able to locate buttons or options have changed, just click around and just keep an eye out for the language subtitles in CC. So back at the beginning of my video, I mentioned that I would show you how to set your language for your entire channel. Um, so I'm in YouTube Studio, I've gone to my channel. I'm going to go down to subtitles in this list. And I will just click on this one here. And I'll choose set language. And make sure the box is checked for make this def the default for my channel. And it should go to um, every video and set this English automatic and start to process it and creating uh, cre and create its own captions. It should. <laughs> YouTube, I think, is still working on this feature. Sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not. So do go back and review videos that you've posted if you're depending on that automatic captioning to get you through until you have a chance to do your own. I hope this video helps you create your own captions and subtitles. If you have any questions, please drop a comment in the description below.